all of my lovely friends here on YouTube. My name is Larissa and welcome to my YouTube channel and a new video after a very long break. I am super happy to be back here online to connect with you guys. Thank you all so much for the beautiful comments and you know, enjoying my content while I was gone. I really appreciate all your love and support. And sorry to any of those of you who commented who I didn't get back to for a long time because I honestly just needed to take a pretty long social media break, which is what I did. Um, and yeah, now I'm back here just popping in to say hi, give you guys a little update and let you know I'll be back to making videos um, hopefully pretty regularly, but we'll see how things go. I'm just always going with the flow. It's how I like to live. It's very freeing and empowering to like not feel restricted or restrained in any way. Um, but I love to be here to share, you know, any bits of inspiration and positivity that I can put out there in the world because this world can be so crazy sometimes and difficult and that's what I wanted to talk about in this video today actually is how basically going through the ups and downs in life is inevitable. Um, I love sharing positivity online and all of that but the reality is that there's always going to be the downside, the dark side to the light. That's just the reality of the world we live in and experiencing every aspect of this reality is you know, truly what we're here to do. We're not here to only feel good and happy and positive all the time. That's just not realistic and it's not the true human experience. Of course, it's what we want to focus on because what we focus on, we get more of and we spread more of. And that's obviously the most beautiful way to live rather than getting sucked into the darkness. But the way to avoid getting sucked down into it and staying down in it for prolonged periods of time is to really face it head on and experience all of your emotions, face them in a very brave way instead of trying to numb yourself, distract yourself and shy away from feeling the hard things because it's been proven that trauma and negative feelings and emotions can get stuck in our body and actually lead to diseases developing in our bodies there are, they are actually very physical things. We might not see them that way, but they're like emotions produce chemicals in our body that result in physical expressions of what we're feeling. And like I said, it's been proven that they can lead to disease when we don't, you know, really sit with our emotions and feel them fully to release them. So this is a message for anybody out there that kind of tends to try and distract themselves from feeling and shies, shies away from the difficult feelings and just tries to be like, okay, everything's fine. I don't need to think about it. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that I'm feeling stressed or sad or that you know I'm going through some sort of trauma. Everything's fine because there is such thing as toxic positivity and spiritual bypassing, meaning just trying to be like all love and light all the time and ignoring anything bad that ever happens to us, but that's that's a huge reason I took a break from social media was to really sit through some difficult stuff that I was going through, um, which I wanna touch on just a little bit. So in the last YouTube video that I posted, which was like, I think right before Christmas, um, I was super excited sharing, you know, a life update with you guys because I was planning to move to Santa Barbara on this beautiful organic fruit farm and you know everything just felt like it was moving in to place in this beautiful direction and I was just I was so excited and I talk a lot about you know how your mindset like manifests your reality and I was just feeling so powerful that like wow I'm creating my dream life and it was everything I could have wanted at that time so all of a sudden this life that I was like building up and creating through all this like magic that I was like manifesting and all of that, um, it was about to happen and then it all just crumbled. Like everything that I thought about the life that I was gonna be living and creating all just crumbled. Out of nowhere, everything fell apart. And that was like very devastating for me, honestly. Um, 
because it wasn't just like one thing happening and one thing like kind of not working out it was like a whole stack of things that just kept happening and happening and happening for about like a month of just craziness that was like really really hard to go through so i was even for a while questioning all of these things that i deeply believe in like how you can create your reality through the mindset and the emotions and all of that that you choose to embody and i was like if i've worked so hard on myself and my life like why are these you know really hard things happening to me why am i struggling so much right now when the past year was absolute bliss and amazing experience after another and it was just like so magical like why did that all lead up to like this really devastating experience and i was feeling you know lost and obviously a lot of sadness and stress um so i stepped back from everything in my life and took time to just like really sit in all of the things that i was feeling and kind of just letting everything that needed to come up come up so that i could really like heal whatever kind of feelings that maybe were coming from past traumas and you know obviously addressing the present things that were going on in my life and just I feel like a lot of people tend to distract themselves when they're going through these like difficult times um you know they'll either just start like focusing on their work or career to distract themselves or they'll you know focus on just being social um whatever it may be but for me I really tend to like just kind of step back from everything I don't I don't really like necessarily isolate myself like i was still definitely like reaching out to friends and talking and stuff um talking through my emotions with my loved ones which is super helpful to like you know have a support system that's definitely key to going through hard times but um at the same time like i wasn't trying to overly socialize myself and distract myself from my feelings and i feel like that's one of my gifts in this lifetime is I've always been a very deep feeler and I've definitely been there for a lot of my friends to help them kind of address and experience their emotions on a deep level and it's what I love to do. I love helping people in any way I can and emotions are something that I really deeply understand so it makes me feel very happy when I can like help people through whatever they're going through and that's definitely one thing that I'm very grateful for when I do go through hard times is it just keeps giving me more and more lessons and more strength to not only help myself in future experiences but help others as well so that's the other thing is like I said like when I was going through the emotions I was feeling so lost and sad and like you know just questioning everything like why you know are, are the things that I believe in when it comes to how I can create my reality even true because I wouldn't have created this you know but I had to keep at least a little bit of hope knowing that everything that I have learned on my journey is true I just need to go through the ups and downs because it's inevitable and hold on to that hope because I will get back to you know those high highs where everything is beautiful and blissful again and that's where I'm at once again in my life now and I'm always reminded when I come out of the darkness that everything did happen for a reason because I'm always blessed with things that are much more greater than the original blessings that I thought I had that ended up not working out like it's hard to believe it when you're in the moment that something better will come from this it's so hard but it is the truth like it just always is and the other thing too that I always am reminded of is that the dark times and the pain and the hurt are always a blessing in disguise to remind us that once we get out of it, then we have even more love and appreciation for the good in our life. When we start seeing the positive things all around us, once again, all of the beauty, then we can feel infinitely more grateful because we know what the opposite end of the spectrum feels like. And I've also learned too that like the in my opinion, most magical people are the people that 
feel the deepest in all aspects. We can really only love as great as we have felt pain. We can really only experience all the biggest spectrums of emotions, the highs and the lows, if we are truly like brave. Because for example, in a relationship, it takes so much bravery, courage, vulnerability to open your heart fully and knowing that if you love someone fully and open your heart fully to them, you are going to be at risk for getting hurt, but you're also going to be able to experience the highest highs that love has to offer. Whereas if you are like more guarded and fearful, then yeah, you might not get hurt, but you're also not going to be able to experience the highest highs of that love that is possible. So that's why to me, it's, it's more empowering to be fearless when it comes to how we love and how we live and just not being not letting fear rule us because like i said it's inevitable to experience the ups and the downs but it's also like it's i feel like life isn't as precious and as beautiful and expansive if we're holding ourselves back constantly out of fear of loss or failure or just trying to guard ourselves from getting hurt so to me it's it's the most beautiful magical way to live is to experience everything all the spectrums of emotions and colors of the rainbow of life <laughs> but anyway yeah so a lot of unexpected things happened um basically since the beginning of this year um and yeah, I went through some weird stuff, but now I'm back in the place that I feel the most like empowered um, and open-hearted to like share the things that I like to share online, which is like basically what you guys tell me inspires you. Um, you know, everything about like living a healthy lifestyle, um, health, happiness, self-love, all of that. And yeah, basically one of the things that I do to embody what I talk to you all about is when I do feel myself going through heavy feelings, I do honor that and take space and step back from places like the online world. Not because I don't wanna share all the aspects of my life with you guys. Um, although I do focus on spreading the positivity rather than the heaviness that we can all go through. Um, but I do wanna be real with you guys and say, hey, my life's not perfect just because I eat healthy and I exercise and I spend time in nature and I meditate. Like that all helps me to get through anything that's difficult and to live my best life and feel my best in my body every single day. But it doesn't mean my life is 100% perfect all the time with no bad things ever happening. Um, I'm just a normal person, just like you. But I have, you know, taken years and years to dedicate to healing emotionally, physically, and basically trying to be my best self and help others, you know, achieve the same, which that's not something that like you just achieve and you're done. It's something that like you stay dedicated to on a daily basis because you love yourself so much. And so yeah, I'm happy to be back to share my life with you guys here, at least little bits and pieces of my life. I'm also really excited to be doing a little bit of traveling again this year, going to one of my favorite places um, at the end of this month. So stay tuned to find out where I am heading. Um, definitely be filming some fun videos there and I oh yeah I am really excited to record this special video for you guys it will probably be posted after this one um, I mentioned in my kundalini awakening video about um, this breathing technique that I learned from going to the dr. Joe Dispenza retreats and I mentioned in that video that I might um, make another video showing you guys the technique for that breath 
um, if you guys were interested and I definitely got some comments of people saying that they were interested. So I'm excited to share that technique with you because it is like so life-changing. So I've been really excited to sit down and film that video for you guys soon because it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite like techniques to share with people in my life because yeah, it changed my life on a very deep level. If you want to hear more about my Kundalini awakening experience, um, then go check that video out because this breath technique will help activate your kundalini energy and it's a very powerful experience <laughs> and yeah you guys can also find me on instagram if you'd like and also subscribe to my youtube it helps me out a lot and i appreciate it <laughs> um and yeah i hope you all have a beautiful day and i will see you guys in another video very soon